I'm going to take our piston rings off here. This is a pair of piston ring pliers. These work. See, it goes in there like so. And you only want to stretch them as far as you have to. So there's your compression ring. Here's our intermediate or scraper ring. There again, only stretch them as far as you have to. And then here's my oil control ring. Like that. And then here's our oil expander. That comes apart like that. So notice where the split is. We want the split to be opposite of the split on the other side. Something like this. Your split's clear down here. See how it's ways away from that? So that's how that works. When you go to clean these, this is a piston ring groove cleaner. How this works, this slides in the edge here and then you've got different dies that you can change to clean those grooves out. So, put it in here and I'm going to figure out so I'm on the top groove, I'm going to figure out which one of these matches my groove best. That's too big, that's close. Let's try the next one up. That one's just about right. You may end up using a combination of the two. You squeeze it together. And that's going to take metal off, so I don't want that one. I'll go to the next smaller one. This kind of adjusts your cutting depth. Then you basically run this around. This is almost too big for this tool. Drag that around and that'll clean the carbon out of your ring. See the black stuff on there? You can also use these as a ring expander. See that one's too small. I need to go to the big one here. What this does is when you use this, when you pry it open, Kind of gives it some support all the way around. I don't like using these, but that is another type of tool. This one's just kind of hard to use. But looking here on our rings, I'm gonna wipe these down, clean some of the oil off. This is our scraper intermediate combination ring, any of the three. This one's really hard to see, but there's typically gonna be a dot of some sort that tells you which way is up. I'm not seeing it on this one. Anyway, so that's my combination, but the other thing I can look at is the step. So it's kinda got a step down. That step usually is gonna go up. I'll look on the other side. No, there's no marks on that for that. Here's my compression ring. Sometimes they call these a keystone ring. It really has to do with what they make them out of. See if this one has a mark. Oh, yeah, right there. It's really hard to see, but there's a dot right there. That would indicate up. So this one will go on last. You don't want to use used rings typically, but just for this demonstration, that's why I'm doing that. You see any chipping of any sort, any sort of damage, you definitely don't want to use that. And that goes for new rings as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our piston rings back on. There's a split. It's going to go over there, see? I'm going to take my oil control ring, and I want to put this directly away from this split here. So I'll use these. I'm going to push that together. Got to make sure you get that ring inside of there. Make sure that expander is all the way inside of the ring. Try compressing it. Make sure that it's nice and springy. You can kind of see right here there's some a part number wrote on here. Anytime I see a part number, that's going to go to the top of the piston. 
So I'm going to take my, my scraper intermediate combination ring. This goes on next. Notice the lip or the step is going to go up. This one doesn't have any markings on it. So I'm just going back the way I took it off. And when you do this, like I said, you want to spread it no farther than you have to. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to put our compression ring on next. There again, there's no marks on this again, which kind of the pits, so just make sure you pay attention. You get new rings, they're going to have some sort of dots or marks or something. Okay, so that's in. So now, what I want to do, I'm going to take and put this end gap in line here. I don't want it in line with my thrust faces or my wrist pin. I'm going to put this one 180 degrees from it. And then I'm going to take my oil control ring and I'm going to put that 90 degrees from those so that there's a split here, 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 and there's also on the expander inside the oil control there's a split there too. Just to show you these other pliers, they're kind of a pain to use, but you can see how they go in there and the goal is so that they don't overstretch the ring when you take them off. They will actually take them off. Probably better if you got this style. But there again I usually go for ease of use and this one works the best.